We often talk about the prospect of an undisputed heavyweight champion, but how is that going to happen and who are the fighters within reach? In 2020, the two champions are Anthony Joshua with three major titles and Tyson Fury with the fourth major recognized belt. But it's not as easy as saying they should fight. The gears and politics of boxing work almost against there being an undisputed champion, with sanctioning bodies falling over each other with mandatory challenges and their own incompetence. The old chestnut of undisputed Trump's mandatory is shaky logic. As if it were truly the case, why have we waited a generation for the next undisputed champion? In this video, I'll cover the current situation, who is potentially in the mix for an undisputed fight, with winning being the determining factor in that equation. And we'll start with Tyson Fury and who stands in his way of an undisputed fight. The giant Brit is riding the crest of a wave with fans right now after winning the WBC title in February 2020, dominating long-reigning champion Deontay Wilder, delivering a seven-round beatdown that Wilder just never saw coming. Fury is generally rated as the current number one heavyweight on the planet following that performance, which capped a long recovery from drink, drugs and personal issues following his first watershed moment in his career in 2015 when he dethroned the then long reigning champion Vladimir Klitschko. In his way of an undisputed fight are two potential hurdles, the first being the trilogy fight with Wilder that Fury is obligated to fulfil. With the current pandemic casting doubt over when that could be held, it could be 2021 before it takes place. And that's primarily because the promoters involved want a crowd in attendance, due to the fact that it generated nearly $17 million in the live gate in the rematch. And given his performance in the rematch, Fury will go into a third fight with the Bronze Bomber as a red-hot favourite. But he will have to guard against complacency. In Wilder, he will face a big puncher who turned in the worst performance of his career. The defeat has galvanized the former WBC champion's resolve to regain the title. Your king is here, and we ain't going nowhere, for the war has just begun. I will rise again. But a key question ahead of the third fight is can Deontay Wilder improve and evolve? The jury is certainly out on that one but it's likely he will have to rely on more than just a big right hand if he wants to win. A second potential hurdle for Fury, should he get past Wilder, is the WBC mandatory challenger, which is currently Dillian White. White is due to have his shot by February 2021, but with the pandemic halting boxing for months, it's unclear what the sanctioning body will do. Will they push that date back? Will they grant Fury an exemption to fight in an undisputed clash? Fury himself believes so, saying, I'm almost 100% or 95% that all organizations will sanction a unification before a mandatory. In that scenario, Dillian White would likely be infuriated. But the WBC interim champion White also has other concerns right now. Chiefly, he is set to face Alexander Povetkin, potentially in August 2020, which is no gimme fight. And if Povetkin beats White, he becomes part of the undisputed picture as he'd inherit the mandatory status. But regardless of it being one or two fights to get an undisputed fight, the key for Tyson Fury is to keep winning if he wants that undisputed showdown. And that's the same equation for Anthony Joshua, who won his titles back in his last fight, a rematch with Andy Ruiz Jr., who months earlier dominated Joshua and beat him up over seven rounds. But Joshua adapted for the rematch, showing a level of movement and a confident back foot game that fans really hadn't seen before. But within days of that win, he was ordered by the IBF and WBO to face the respective mandatory challengers, Kubrat Pulev and Alexander Usyk. A deal was struck for Joshua to face longtime contender Pulev first, with the Bulgarian seeking to become a champion in his second title shot, the first coming in 2014 when he was beaten up and taken out in five rounds by Vladimir Klitschko. The pandemic, however, prevented the fight between Pulev and Joshua taking place as originally planned. 
and it's unclear if it will be staged behind closed doors at some point or potentially outside of the UK. Joshua has spoken of Pulev not being on his level and that he believes he should walk through the Bulgarian. But every heavyweight is dangerous to some degree and in Pulev he will be facing a well-schooled boxer who plays the percentage as well, so it is dangerous to completely write him off. Pulev and his promoter Bob Arum have designs on winning against Joshua and then facing Tyson Fury themselves in what would be an in-house undisputed fight at top rank, which co-promotes both Pulev and Fury. But should Joshua make it past Pulev as many expect, he will have another mandatory obligation to fulfil with the WBO. The current mandatory challenger is former cruiserweight king Alexander Usyk, who by way of his WBO super champion status at cruiserweight was able to claim the mandatory status at heavyweight. After such a storied run at cruiserweight, Usyk hasn't really fired a shot in the heavyweight division to date, with various injuries limiting him to one low-level introductory fight in the division in the form of Chaz Witherspoon. But despite that, Usyk has chosen to put his mandatory status on the line against Derek Chisora, and that's also an event that has been forced to be rescheduled due to the pandemic. While many expect that Usyk will win in a good fight, others believe that he will be beaten. Thus, Derek Chisora is also on the periphery of the undisputed picture if he defeats the Ukrainian. The odds that he lands in the undisputed fight may well be in the low single digits, but like everyone mentioned in this video, winning will ultimately determine who will fight for all the belts, if in fact all the stars align to allow that to happen. We have certainly come close before in 2018, but that window closed quickly and it really hasn't opened up in the same way since. Maybe 2021 will be that year for Undisputed, or maybe it's the one that will get away again. And who will fight for all the belts? Will Fury and Joshua keep winning and set up a huge fight in the heavyweight division, or will someone else emerge? Let me know.